Hello, this is our third idea assignment, and we are using data from the 2000 census, the 2010 census, and we are using county population numbers. Number one says import the data, and I'm going to do just that. Here we go. Home, import. Microsoft Excel, my data is in. I'll do the 2000 first. We'll do next. Everything is good, except I want to abbreviate this at the bottom, the last row to census. So I'll take the defaults. And 2010 is imported. Import. Excel. Now the 2010, next, 2010, I want to abbreviate this as well to census, we'll do OK, and we have it. Import, Excel, find the data, received, Next, we're good, except I want to abbreviate this to received at the bottom, and we'll do OK. I'm going to close the received. I'm going to close the 2000 and just leave myself with 2010. Requirement number one, identify the seven states that have two counties with the same 2010 population numbers. Analysis, explore, duplicate key, detection. There we go. The fields that I want in my results are everything except FIPS and area. I'm good there. Duplicates on what? Same state, and here we add same people 2010. Um, I think we can do ascending should be OK. Uh, let's see if we get Iowa at the top. I'm going to do OK and OK. I'm great. This is telling me that Iowa has two states with the same population numbers. Kansas has two, two states. Two counties with the same population numbers. And all the way down to Virginia, the seventh. Two cities with the same population numbers. That indeed is the answer for question number one. Go back and change the format of the numbers in People 2010 to include the thousands. There we go. It's a right click, right at the bottom, field settings, use the thousands separator, OK. And that was about as quick as it gets. Number three. Calculate the population change for each county from 2000 to 2010. Show the state name, the county name, the two populations and the change. This, of course, would seem rather easy, except that these numbers are in different tables. There's census 2010. And there is census 2000, and I want the difference between people and people, but they are in two different tables, so I need to do a, let me highlight this one, I need to do a join. So analysis, relate, join. There we go. Primary, 2010, uh, no criteria, and let me just see, um, I don't, particularly one FIPS or area, so we're okay there. Um, secondary database is 2010, which opened up on my right-hand screen here. Um, I don't particularly want anything except, so when I white it, it means it's not going to show. I just want people 2,000 there. I'm good. So far, we're good. 
join databases and I'm going to match on the FIPS. So it'll it'll match according to FIPS, it'll match FIPS to FIPS. And we'll do OK. And this would seem to work because I have the same number of records in each county, but I'm going to do all the records in both files. This should be safe. And here we go. OK. Oops, I didn't want to call it join databases. That's pretty lame. I wonder if I can just change the um, change the the name of this. Modify the field. I don't want to modify the field. I'm going to live with this, but I don't like join databases here anyway. Uh, I need to add a calculated field now, which is this minus that. And for that, we'll go data add. The field name is change. So far, so good. It's going to have no decimals. The parameter is this is the calculator. It is going to be, I'm clicking on 2010 at the bottom, 2010 minus 2000. And that is indeed what my change is. I'm good. Ah, description added field. Uh, we'll just call this growth and we'll do OK. And there I have the change. I just want to see, did we want it sorted? Um, show a screenshot. The la sort your results by change descending. So there's change, and I'm going to go data sort. Sort by change, not ascending, but descending, largest to smallest. We'll do OK. And in our results here, what we say as a check, the largest change was for Maricopa in Arizona, increase of my largest change is 744,968. And I leave it up to you to uh, read the results for showing a screenshot. Calculate the population totals for each state. So we'll call it 51 states for both. Um, your new data set will have 51 populations. Um, show the change, sort your results by change descending. Screenshot of the eight largest changes. Here we go. I'm going to do both of these. I'm going to close this. Um, so, so those names aren't that good. Um, since it's 2010, I need the populations for the states. And I'm going to do summarization. There it is, analysis, summarization. Field to summarize, summarize by state and total the people. File name, and let's see. I'm going to call file name 20, total 2010, and I'll do some, and I'll do the same here, total 2010. I'm good to go, and this is not the greatest because I don't really like to work with this. I'm closing this, and there it is, total 2010. Um, I can see that I have 51 records for the 51 states, and I have a total for each of the states, and it's in alphabetical order. I need to go now and do the same with for the year 2000, and it'll be summarization here. Summarize by state, total the people, uh, field name... Total 2000, create the result, and we'll go total 2000, just pause if I'm going too fast, and uh, state, people, total, total, I'm good, and now I'm going to close this again, 
and I prefer to work with the total 2000 which where did we lose that there it is total 2000 I now have total 2010 total 2000 and what I want for number four is I want the name of the fields total 2000 total 2010 um, calculate the population totals here we go and the change there are 51 states and there would be 51 changes and calculate the population change from 2000 to 2010 i need to join these databases because the two totals are in different um, tables so i'm going to go join which is pretty nice i have 2010, I have almost everything I need. I really don't need the number of records. I don't need it. Um, and this is primary, so it's going to keep this, it's going to keep that. Secondary is, I had to go and find it on my right screen here, total 2000. Total 2000, uh, it opened up a dialog box on my other thing. Select I <laughs> fields. I really don't want that or the number of records. I'm okay. And um, there we go. And the file name is let's see. I'm going to just read it here. I'm gonna do file name. Uh, the requirements might give another thing, but I'm, I'm not going to check that all that closely now. I'm going to sort by, uh, not sort match on state. We're good there. The state abbreviation, and we'll take all records in both files. And what I should have now is one table with 2000 and with 2010. We'll go there. I'm good. I'm good, except that I don't like these um, n uh, names over there because I want name the fields total 2000 and total 2010 respectively, and that's not what it's called here. I'm going to go here and I'm going to do modify field. Let me find modify field, modify. Okay, field name people 2000 sum change this to total underscore 2000 and I'm going to do okay uh, yes I'm going to go here I'm going to go modify and the reason that I'm not calculating the change now is I first want to change the field names. So change this to total 2010. We're good. Don't worry about that message. Those messages never important. Just teasing. Here we go. Now I need the change. And I have the state total total. Let me just check that I have 51 states. I'm good. Um, I now need, I'm here, no need to highlight anything, add a new field, and the field name is going to be uh, change. Change. We're good. The parameter is 2010, I'm clicking there, minus 2000. I'm good with a left click up top there and we'll do OK. And now what I wanted was um, sort your results by change descending eight largest changes. I'm just going to go here. I'm already here. Sort. Change. Descending. OK. And I have the largest changes. 
I will leave it up to you to read the screenshot requirements. Use the table with the 2010 and extract all the cases with the popu county populations greater than 2000. So I need to go back here. Oops, I need to go all the way to here. Census 2010. And I, what I want is, it's not that difficult if I know which table I needed. Uh, extract the records for the county populations greater than or equal to 2,000. Sort by the population numbers descending. Here it is. It's extract, direct. I'm going to go file name, large county. I'm going to click here, and the criteria is that people 2010 is greater than or equal to 2000. And we will do OK, and we will do, let's see which fields, I don't particularly want um, state name and people 2010, so I don't want that. We'll do OK, and we'll do... And there we have it. Uh, all populations greater than, and I think I want it sorted. So let's go sort your results by the population numbers descending. I can go here. Data sort. Sort on people descending. OK, and number five is doing well. I'm going to X this out. Don't need this. Don't need this anymore. Don't need that. And let's go. Number five, a hypothetical situation where we have a received file and I want to know what is not in the received file that is in census 2010? In other words, what was not received? So I'm going to go, so I have 2010 here. I'm going to go here, I'm going to go there, I'm going to go there, and I need to open this. There we go. And now, amazingly, it is going to be a join. I'm going to go join, which I suppose I'll find better if I go in analysis, join. Here we go. Um, state, FIPS name, I want everything. So primary is census 2010. I in fact want all of these fields. State, FIPS name, area people 2010. There we go. Secondary database is amazingly received and something opened up on the other page here. I'm going to go and receive this clicked in there. Um, which fields do I want to show? I think I want to show none of these fields. Okay. I want to show what is in census but is not in received. What was not received? I need to match on the FIPS. We can do OK there. And now it's a case of which one of these do I choose? And it is records with no secondary match. Records here that have no match there. That is what was not received. And we can go there. And I'm going to go, OK, and isn't this great? This tells me that the 14 records were the um, 14 counties in Massachusetts. And I just made this example up. Um, and I wanted a short answer, a state with not that many counties. So we're good to go here. Um, anything else? Uh, show a screenshot of the, and we're good there. Review the checklist and say that you've done so. That would be your screenshot for number six. And uh, we're good to go. So